The Southern Conference title on the line in Spartanburg, Georgia Southern taking on Wofford. Eagle Nation in the house and Georgia Southern moving the ball downfield in the first quarter. The pitch to Nico Hickey for a first down. Later, Jabo Shaw will keep it himself. Makes a nice spin move and another Georgia Southern first down. That drive stalls and Adrian Mora comes in for a 36-yard field goal. It's up and good. It's 3 to nothing, Georgia Southern. The Eagle defense playing tough. John Douglas coming up with the sack. The Terriers trying to find some luck around the left side, but this time it's Josh Gebhardt coming up with the sack. Back on offense and trouble coming up on the pitch. The ball a little bit behind Nico Hickey. It's loose. The Terriers able to recover. Wofford then going to the air as Mitch Allen will find Brenton Burnson for a first down. And then on the very next play, Allen will keep it himself. And he goes 31 yards for the touchdown. And it's 7-3 Wofford. Wofford looking for more. But this time... They'll end up coughing up the ball at midfield, and the Eagles are able to recover. Georgia Southern then going to the air. J. Bo Shaw's pass right here will be tipped, and Jarek McKinnon makes a great grab for a first down, and then with seconds remaining in the half, Shaw to Zach Walker in the flat, who makes a nice spin move and sprints 21 yards, diving in for the touchdown, and we go to the half with Georgia Southern leading by a score of 10-7. to Head to the second half we go, and the Eagles picking up where they left off. Shaw will go to the air as he finds Tyler Sumner for a first down to midfield. Shaw with 111 yards passing. Next Shaw on the play action to Nico Hickey for a first down. The air assault continues with Shaw and Hickey hooking up once again inside the Wofford 10-yard line and then capping the 11-play 90-yard drive. It's Shaw punching it in from three yards away. 17-7 Georgia Southern. Wofford able to respond, but the Eagles able to limit them to just a field goal attempt. This one cuts the lead to 17 to 10, but early in the fourth, the Eagles able to stretch the lead to 14 points with another Shaw quarterback dive, 24 to 10. Time winding down for the Terriers and Allen will be dropped for a loss here by Darius Eubanks. Back on offense, the Eagles chewing up the clock behind the running of freshman fullback Dominique Swope. Dominique, not exactly a human highlight reel, but he would pile up a game-high 165 yards rushing and some punishing runs at that, like this one here. GSU with over 400 yards of offense to 278 for the Terriers and capping the 11-play 70-yard drive. Shaw, his third score of the game. The Terriers taking out their frustration on Eagle kicker Adrian Mora. A personal foul applied, and the Eagles show the Terriers how much they appreciate the cheap shot by having Billy Greer execute the onside kick, which the Eagles are able to recover. And Georgia Southern able to celebrate their first Southern Conference title in seven years in style, winning by a final count of 31 to 10. You know, that was a great team we played today in Walford. They fought hard, uh, just like they've done all season. But, um, you know, we're fortunate to come out with the win, and I'm um, glad we get to celebrate with each other. It's exciting. Coach Munchen is such a great coach. He's got such a great coaching staff, and uh, he just uh, – he really expects us to play up to a level. He's got a level for us to play at, and uh, we played at it today, and we're just lucky to come away with a win. Yeah, de definitely a special day, and uh, we came out on top, and uh, just happy that we went out on all cylinders and played good on offense, defense, best team. Uh, we knew Waffles was going to be a tough game. We knew it was going to be a war out there, and uh, just decided to come out on top. To see our goal finally reach, you know, in two years and being able to go after this Southern Conference Championship, it's just so special, and we're just so, so blessed as a team to have our coaches and then to have our you know, teammates, we're all brothers in there, so, you know, we're just so happy for each other, and being able to celebrate like this, it just, you know, makes all the hard times worth it. It's a great feeling. I'm just happy to have the opportunity to win this with my team. I mean, everybody played a role. Everybody did a great job. We just, we executed and it paid off. Tells me how hard we work, you know, this is what we work for. We work for the fans, work for the coaches, you know, work for all of Eagle Nation, work for the school, so 
that's our that's our goal. You know, I'm proud of this football team and and uh, and the effort they put forth today and and uh, and all the work they put in leading up to this and and uh, it's just a culmination of of a lot of days of hard work and effort and uh, and our kids really just came to play and thought did a great job today. This is a great accomplishment for these kids. Uh, the seniors on this team two years ago were five and six and uh, and you know they're providing just tremendous positive leadership for this team and and uh, I'm just really proud of the effort they put forth and how determined they were to win this game this afternoon.